Hey guys, just want to show you a quick tutorial on how to remove the tripod. This is uh, version 2.0. I have an earlier version on uh, the YouTube channel, but the way I'm doing it now, I feel is a much more efficient way to do it. And I just want to share it with everybody because I think it's really cool. Um, so the first thing is you need to go to the internet and download um, Flexify 2 for panoramas. So this is flamingpair.com slash flexify-2 dot html. They have a free trial so you can check it out you know uh, without any cost and you can buy it for $54. Um, I make no money off this so I should say that up front. You can do some very very cool things with it but I don't want to get off track so uh, again this is the second time I have to thank Andrew Hazelden because he's also the person who turned me on to this but uh, it's, it's really cool. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. So the first step would be in your Premiere project, whatever you're working on, and I'm going to do stereo. If you can, you, it, it works for mono or stereo, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to show you how to do stereo. Um, and if you're working in mono, you just have to, to you know, not worry about the first and last steps and then you'll be good to go. Um, so the first thing is to export a frame. So say this is the tripod that I want to remove. Um, looks something like this at the bottom so I want to remove this uh, so the first thing is, is to export a frame so there's a button right here that says export frame where you can push on a Mac shift E on a PC I think it's shift control E um, I think I'm not sure about this but someone told me that this needs to be full and uh, pause resolution whatever you know whatever these settings are it's going to export that I'm not sure that that's the case but I usually have this set to full anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, anyway, just, uh, just a little bit of information there. So I'm going to export frame. I'll just call this max test. Um, I'm using a PNG. I found that the PNGs work better with alpha channels, and you'll see what I'm talking about later. And for now, I'm just going to save it to the desktop. That's fine. So now if I go to my desktop, I have max test. I bring this into Photoshop. Um, and before you bring this in, you'll need to install the Flexify, Flexify 2 plugin. Instructions to do that are on their website. So, um, so yeah, just follow their instructions. You, you sort of basically have to go find the folder where Photoshop is. There's a plugins folder, and you drop it in to that folder. So once you have your image in here, um, Again, I know most of you probably aren't working in stereo, but if you are, uh, let, me, let me make this fill the frame here. Uh, if you are working in stereo uh, footage like the Omni, uh, excuse me, like the Odyssey or the Jaunt 1, um, the bottom is mono anyway. So the first step would be to crop. So I push C for the shortcut crop, crop tool, and I drag this down to make it mono, push enter. If you're working in mono, you just start here, so no problem there. So the first thing to do is go up to Filter, go down to Flaming Pair, Flexify 2. Now, there's some really cool things you can do here. I don't want to get into them. All I want to talk about is removing the tripod. So first thing you do is go to Input. So you have all these different sections here. Just leave them all the same. Input, Echo Rectangular, Output, and then go down to Zenith and Nadir. I think it's toward the bottom. Zenith and Nadir. I think you can also type it in. Zenith. And you can already see what this is going to do. But uh, go ahead and push OK. And now you have this nice image to work with here. So I can do Command Plus to zoom in. Or I can zoom out, whatever I want to do. Um, at this point, what I do is I I select the lasso tool and I click around whatever I'm trying to remove. I'm just going to do real, real quick and dirty. Um, and then I right click and do select inverse. Oh, excuse me, go back. Right click feather. And you can play around with this feather radius right now. For this one, I'm going to say 10 pixels. Um, you'll see what that does here in a little bit. So there's a bunch of different ways you can go about removing the tripod. One that I'm, I'm loving right now is 
just to right click, go down to fill. The normal settings are fine, content aware, push OK. And then it basically takes the surrounding information and, and pastes it in here. For a lot of situations, this will be perfect. You won't have to do anything else. Obviously, this is a little bit more complex. There's some very serious patterns here, so that's not going to work for me. Um, so I'll do a quick clone stamp tool. But basically, I'm still going to be working with clone stamp tool and the spot healing brush or the healing brush. So that's uh, the shortcut for the stamp, clone stamp tool is S. And then um, you, can, you can learn all about the clone stamp tool on a thousand other tutorials, but I'll give you a, a, a quick overview. If you right click, um, you have these different options. You can choose the size of the brush, you can choose the hardness. Um, I usually, I don't say usually, but I more than often use it a very soft brush, so like zero pixel or zero percent. But sometimes it's great to use 100%. The, the reason you'd want to use 100% is that, say, I want this exact pattern to be right here. So 100% would be good to do that, but you can see how it leaves a circle around. So if you do 0% and you push it once, see, it just barely does it. So, you, But you can then paint around, paint that, that section in. So again, I'm not going to get into the like craziness of actually you know, clone stamping this whole thing, but I'll do a quick dirty job. So let me just choose this. So I'll do here. Line it up and then just, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, and then, um, let's see, let's do. It's going to be pretty bad, but you, you'll get the idea. Um, yeah, let me just put this here and get, get rid of that. So <clears throat> the spot healing brush, J is the, the shortcut. What that does is it takes like this area and it, it can just quickly sort of, it can sort of automatically figure out what needs to be removed. Um, it's not perfect, but it works great for, for some things. So. Um, I sort of alternate back and forth between between the two often to fix to fix things, um, and of course there's a lot more. I mean, you could learn if you learn Photoshop, you can do some really crazy things. You can cut this out and paste it somewhere else. You can turn it, whatever, whatever. But this tutorial is not really about how to use Photoshop. It's just to use these certain actions. So you get this however you want it to look. Go back to your lasso tool. Um, if you don't have this selected, go ahead and select the area you want to keep. So only the area that you've, you've worked with. And then what you're going to do is right click, select inverse, delete, and then deselect. So I can push command D or control D to deselect here. Or you can also, uh, if you click on like the rectangular marquee, this, if you click on this and then just tap in here, it will also deselect. Um, so now you, your image looks like this. And these checkers mean you have the alpha channel in the background, which is good. You'll see why in a minute. And this is a big shout out to Robin Cho. Robin Cho is our studio intern at Jaunt, and he showed me this, and it works amazing. So last step is to go to go back to this plugin. Input is going to be Zenith and Nadir. And then output is going to be equi rectangular. Push OK. If you're working in stereo, so if you're working in, in um, mono, then you're done. This is this is it. If you're working in stereo, then what you do is you go up to image, canvas size, um, make sure relative is off. Go to pixels, and then whatever your form, the 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 resolution of your footage. In this particular instance, it's 2048 by 2048. Push OK, and then duplicate your layer. It's fine for now. Drag one layer to the bottom. Drag one layer to the middle, and you're done. So then we're going to export as a, a PNG. You can do Save As uh, PNG or um, Quick Export as PNG. I'll call this Max Test underscore RR for rig removal, put on the desktop, that's fine. And then now in Premiere, let me go down, we'll look here. I 
I can take this image and just drop it on, and the rig's gone. See that? So obviously, if I would have spent more time, this would look perfect. But uh, you can see how easy it is to just drop it on. Now, the video, pl I don't have to mask in Premiere. I don't have to deal with anything. It just, it just works. This is a very small file size. It doesn't create any you know, crazy thing. It doesn't recompress anything. It works great. Um, and then the, the only other thing I want to talk about now is uh, nesting. So if you say you wanted to fade into this next clip, uh, if I just put a fade here, uh, let, me, let me make this shorter so that it, let's say our cut looks like that. Um, so if I do a cr cross dissolve, right click, apply default transitions, there's going to be something weird with the tripod. And we'll say that we have another PNG over here, or whether we do or doesn't, it doesn't really matter. So then the thing to do would be to nest these. So select these, right click, nest. You would want to name that, but. Uh, and then I'm going to delete this. So in the nest, so right now it ends, the nest ends right here. So if I try to do a, a dissolve, it, it wouldn't work as well as, you, you don't have as much control. I can't drag this dissolve into the other clip. So to do that, you go into your nest, and you can make this longer. Go to the end. Now back in our timeline, this hasn't changed. This part hasn't changed, but now we're, you see we have more, more content here. So now if I do apply default transitions, it works fine. So that's the basics of how to remove the tripod using Flexify 2 and using the alpha channel so that you don't have to mask in Premiere. And I think it works great. Again, big shout out to uh, Andrew Hazelden to turning me on to Flexify 2 and to Robin Cho for uh, showing me how to work with the Alpha channel. Before I was using TIFF and for whatever reason I was having issues exporting the Alpha channel correctly. So I was masking in Premiere, which isn't, which isn't hard. It just adds another 10 minutes and more complexity to your uh, to your project. So this way I think is super streamlined and you can remove the tripod, make it look really, really good in a very short period of time. So thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful and take care.